What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. Today I'll be talking about every single NASCAR Silly Season move that happened for entering 2024. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. Silly Season would kick off in June as it was announced that Josh Berry will be joining Super Haas Racing in 2024 and will be driving the number 4 car replacing Kevin Harvick starting in the 2024 season. Then we had a lot of conversation about Ryan Priest, and it was unclear if he'd be back to Haas Racing, but it was confirmed in October that Ryan Priest would, in fact, be returning to Stuart Haas Racing in 2024, driving the number 41 car. Then it was shockingly confirmed in July that Justin Neely would be joining Rick Ware Racing in 2024, driving the number 51 car with RFK, showing a lot more support to the team and the organization. Then it was announced in late July, early August that Corley Joy had signed a multi-year contract extension with Spire Motorsports. He had had offers to multiple organizations like Trackhouse Racing, Bill will stay with Spire Motorsports for the foreseeable future. Then it was announced during Michigan Week that Ryan Else would be joining Alpha Prime Racing full-time in 2024, driving number 43 car after driving majority races with Alpha Prime in 2023. Then it was announced during Michigan weekend that Mark Chuck Schindler would be returning to Joe Gibbs Racing in 2024. We'll have a lot of retirement talks potentially though throughout this season. Then it was announced right after Michigan week that Fermo Motorsports would reveal their 2024 Cup Series lineup, confirming that Michael McDowell and Todd Gillen will be returning to the respective organization. McDowell driving to 34 and Todd Gillen driving to 38 once again. Then it was announced around Watkins Glen weekend that Austin Neal had signed a multi-year contract extension with Richard Schultz Racing, which will keep him in the number 21 car for at least the next two seasons. Then it was announced during Daytona week that Parker Clareman would be returning to Big Machine Racing in 2024, driving the number 48 car once again as he looks to make the postseason and win some races. Then it was announced after the Southern 500 that Denny Hamlin has signed a multi-year extension with, Con with Joe Gibbs Racing. It was also confirmed that 23 level will also stay with Toyota as Denny Hamlin has a two-year contract extension with Joe Gibbs Racing. During that same week, John Hunter Nemechek would confirm that he would be joining Legacy Motor Club in 2024, driving a number 42 car. He looked to have a really strong season in his first full-time cup season since 2020. Then it was announced about a couple weeks after that Sam Mayer would be returning to Junior Motorsports in 2024, driving number one car after having a really strong and great season with the team in 2023. Then it was announced during Bristol week that Dale Hemrick would be jumping up to the Cup Series for the full time for the first time since 2019, driving number 31 car full time for Colleg Racing in 2024. And then we got confirmation during the same Bristol week before the Cup Series race happened that Zane Smith will be joining Trackhouse Racing in 2024 with a multi-year contract and will drive the number 71 car for Spire Motorsports full-time in 2024 with support from Trackhouse Racing. Then it was officially confirmed during that same Bristol week that Brandon Jones would be returning to Junior Motorsports in the 2024 season, driving a number 9 car once again, looking to have a much better season in 2024. Then it was confirmed after Justin Allgaier won at Bristol that he would also be returning to Junior Motorsports in 2024, driving number 7 car. There were some slight rumors he could go to Cog, but he'll stay with Junior Motorsports for the long-term future. Then we got confirmation in October that Haley Deegan would be joining AM Racing in 2024, driving the number 15 car. She will replace Brad Moffat this season and will get the owner's points from the 25 car. Then it was confirmed that Brody Kaseki will run four to five NASCAR Cup Series races in 2024 in the number 33 car, potentially with Erebus Racing. Though he's had some issues at Erebus as of recently, he still could be with that team. He still could be running some Cup races with Richard Childress Racing this season. Then it was confirmed that Sammy Smith would be going to Junior Motorsports full time in 2024, driving the number eight car. Sammy Smith looks to have a really solid and great season with Junior Motorsports in 2024 after a great year with Joe Gibbs Racing. Then it was confirmed around Talladega week that Dale Dye would be joining McAnally Hilgeman Racing in 2024, driving number 43 truck once again as his 43 truck from GMS moves over to McAnally Hilgeman for 2024. 
Then it was confirmed turn during that same Talladega week that Spire Motorsports had purchased Kyle Busch Motorsports. It was also confirmed that Kyle Busch will drive five races with the team. Carla Joy is going to make a one-off start. And Sean Hangarani will also make some starts with the team, for my understanding, for the 2024 Craftsman Truck Series season. Then it was confirmed during the same Talladega week that Harrison Byrne will be returning to the Wood Brothers in 2024. He needs to show improvement because he could lose a seat with the Wood Brothers if he doesn't improve this upcoming season. Then it was confirmed during the same Talladega weekend that Austin Hendrick had signed a contract extension with Team Penske. While it's unclear how long the deal is, it's expected at least as of right now the center will be there for the foreseeable future. Then it was confirmed during the Charlotte Roval weekend that Carson Ospar would be joining Spire Motorsports in 2024, driving the number 77 car. He looks to have a really, really great season with Spire Motorsports in the 2024 year as a full-time rookie. During that same week, Matt Mills would be confirmed to drive a number 42 truck for Nice Motorsports in 2024 after making select starts with KBM in 2023 and brings JF Electric over. Then it was announced during the Las Vegas week that Riley Herbst would be returning to Sewer Haas Racing in 2024, driving number 98 car once again. He looks to continue a really, really strong start that he had with the team. As a member, Riley Herbst also would pick up his first career victory with the team at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Then it was confirmed during that same week on Tuesday that Corey Heim would be returning to Tricon Garage in 2024 as he'll be looking in the 2024 season to win his first NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Championship. Then during that same week the day after that, Christian Eckes would confirm that he would be returning to McAnally Hilgeman Racing in 2024, driving the number 19 truck once again. After winning four races, he looks to win his first championship in trucks in 2024. Then it was confirmed around the Homestead week that Jeremy Clements would be returning in 2024 as Jeremy Clements is fully funded and sponsored for the 2024 season. During that same week, Ryan Sieg would also confirm that he would be returning in 2024, driving 39 car full-time as he'll be fully sponsored by Psyops for the 2024 Xfinity Series season. Then it was confirmed about a week after that that Dean Thompson would be returning to Tricon Garage in 2024, driving the five truck once again. He's looking to continue a really strong run with the team, had some good performances. He's looking to run really, really well with Tricon Garage in the 2024 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. Then it was announced during the Marzal weekend that Jesse Love will be joining Richard Childress Racing in 2024 and will drive the number two car. After winning the Arca Series Championship in 2023, he looks to win races and contend for a championship in the Xfinity Series in 2024. During that same week, it was confirmed that Bailey Curry would be joining Nice Motorsports in 2024, driving the number 41 truck. Has some select sorts of the team in 2023 and is looking to build upon that by winning in 2024. Then during championship week, Cole Custer would be announced that he would be returning to Stuart Haas Racing in the Xfinity Series in 2024, driving the double zero car once again. He would then go on to win the NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship. During that same week, Jordan Anderson Racing would confirm that Jeb Byrne and Parker Retzlaff would be returning. Jeb Byrne back in the number 27 car and Parker Retzlaff back in the number 31 car. Though Parker Retzlaff will have a new crew chief with Chad Kendrick moving up to the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Right after the season concluded, Brennan Poole will be announced that he will be joining Alpha Prime Racing in 2024, driving a number 44 car. After driving for JD Motorsports last year, he looks to have a great season with this team in 2024. Then it was announced right after that that Tanner Gray will be returning to Tricon Garage in 2024, driving number 15 truck once again. He'll look to have a much better season this upcoming year in 2024. A couple days after that, it will be announced that Taylor Gray would also be returning to Tricon Garage in 2024. He will have a new crew chief this season with Jeff Hensley taking over the reins with the team in the 2024 season. Then it was confirmed that Keith McGee would be returning to the Rayon Brothers in 2024, driving number 71 truck, he 27 truck. I think it'll be very, very solid and pretty good in the 2024 season with the Rayon Brothers in that number 27 truck in 2024. Then it was confirmed right after that that Kyle Weatherman would be joining DGM Racing in 2024 full-time, driving the number 91 car. He ran a lot of race to DGM and looks to be great with this team in 2024. 
And then it was finally confirmed that Jake Garcia would be joining Thor Sport Racing in 2024, driving the number 13 truck as he replaced Haley Deegan. He will look to run really, really strong and win some races with the team in 2024. And then we finally had some confirmation that Josh Williams would be joining College Racing in 2024, driving the number 11 car. Josh Williams looks to run really good with the team and win races and try to contend for a championship this season. Then it was announced in early to late November that Stage 60 would be entering NASCAR 2024, a project started by RFK Racing. David Reagan is going to drive in his seat in the Daytona 500, and Ty Majeski, Cam Waters, and potentially even Haley Deegan are candidates to drive for Stage 60 throughout the 2024 season. The Stage 60 car for RFK joins this season. Then it was confirmed in early December that Kyle Sieg would be returning to RSS Racing in 2024, driving number 8028 car on a full-time basis. He looks to have a great season with RSS Racing this upcoming year. And then in early December, it was then confirmed that Dawson Cram would be joining JD Motorsports in 2024, driving the number four car. After running with Mike Harmon Racing or CHK Racing last season, he looks to run great with JD Motorsports this upcoming year. And then we had confirmation a couple weeks after that that Jack Wood would be joining McAnally Hilgeman Racing in 2024, driving the number 91 truck for 16 races. He also will compete full time in the Arca West Series in 2024. That same day, it was confirmed that AJ Allmendinger will be returning to the Xfinity Series in 2024, driving the number 16 car for Colleg Racing full time. He will also make some select Cup Series starts with Colleg Racing in 2024. On that same day, it was confirmed that Tyler Ankrum will be joining McAnally Hilgeman Racing in 2024, driving number 18 truck full time after departing Hattori Racing, bringing Lee Yuen a sponsorship with him this upcoming season. On that same day, it was then confirmed that Anthony Alfredo would be returning to our motorsports in 2024 or joining the team that upcoming season, driving a number five car on a full-time basis. He looks to have a much better season than he did with BJ McLeod Motorsports. And then it was confirmed around that time that Timmy Hill will be driving for Hill Motorsports' his own organization full-time in 2024 in the number 56 truck. truck. He'll be looking to run really good with the team and win races and contend for some potential races this upcoming season. And then it was confirmed in December that Fab Moffitt will be joining Faction 46, a new organization of truck series in 2024, driving, of course, the number 46 truck. Fab Moffitt looks to run really, really good, and trying with the new equipment with Nice Motorsports, looks to run up front on a consistent basis. Then it was confirmed in the second week of December that Grant Anfinger will be joining CRSM Motorsports in 2024, driving the number 9 truck full-time. We'll have a really good organization working with him as his crew, former crew chief Jeff Stankiewicz of, of course, Sheldon Cream will be joining him this year. Then that's the next day, Joe Gibbs Racing would finally confirm their 2024 Xfinity lineup. Sheldon Creed is going to drive the 18 car full time. The 19 is going to be a rotation seat of Ryan Truex, Joe Graff Jr., Taylor Gray, William Sawalich. The 20 car will be the all star car of Eric Amrola and John Hunter Nemechek. Amrola running 15 races and John Hunter running around 10 to 12. And Chandler Smith will drive the 81 car full time for Joe Gibbs Racing in the 2024 season. On that same day, it was confirmed that Shane Van Gisbergen would be returning, running seven NASCAR Cup Series races with Call of Racing, which we finally got confirmation this week, and he'll drive full-time for Call of Racing in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2024. He also will make his Nat ARCA Series debut with Pinnacle Racing Group at Daytona this week. On the same day, it was confirmed that Thor Sport Racing would reveal their 2024 Craftsman Truck Series lineup. Jake Garcia will drive the 13. Connor Jones will drive the 66 for 13 races. Matt Craft will drive the 88. Ty Majeski will drive the 98. And Ben Rhodes will drive the 99 after winning the championship last season. And then on that same day, Noah Gregson would finally confirm that he'd be joining Stuart Haas Racing full-time in 2024, driving the number 10 truck. He looks to basically repair his reputation and just not make him any mistakes in 2024. Then it was confirmed the next day on that Thursday that Lane Riggs would be joining Farmer Motorsports full-time in 2024, driving the number 38 car, truck I should say. Brian Briggs, a pretty solid underdog driver who looks to run really good and contend for the Craftsman Truck Series title this season. 
Then it was confirmed in the second or third week of December that Blaine Perkins would be joining RSS Racing full-time in 2024, driving the number 29 car. They will have to qualify their way into all the races, but Blaine Perkins could be someone that could be up to the challenge throughout the 2024 season. Then it was confirmed in the second week of December that Anthony Fredo would be driving the 62 for Beer Motorsports in the Daytona 500. He will also, of course, make another start at Talladega and could run some more races in the Cup Series with Beer Motorsports this season. Then it was confirmed about a week or two before Christmas that William Swallow will be driving the one truck for Tricon Garage for nine races this season. He'll run both Bristol races, he'll run some other races throughout the year as he looks to get more experience in NASCAR. It was then confirmed by Cody Robot that he'll be driving a number 97 truck for CR7 Motorsports in select races throughout the year at Daytona and also Talladega as well. Then right before the New Year's, Ty Dillon would confirm that he would be joining Rackley World Racing in 2024, replacing Matt De Benedetto and driving a 25 truck on a full-time basis. Ty Dillon looks to run really, really strong and really solid with the Rackley World organization this season. Then it was confirmed right after the beginning of the year that Chase Purdy would be joining Spire Motorsports full-time in 2024, driving number 77 truck. Jason Trincheri will be the crew chief for him this season and also will be bringing Bama buggies for many races this year. On the same day, Young's Motorsports would announce that they'd be fielding an Xfinity Series team in 2024, and Leland Honeyman Jr., who's driven for their ARCA car, will be in the 42 car full-time in 2024 as they look to make a ton of races. Then around that time, it was also confirmed for the 45 Alpha Prime car that it will be part-time this year. Cesar Baccarol is going to run four races, including at Daytona, and Brad Price is going to run a bunch of road course races, including at Circuit of the Americas in the coming weeks. Then it was confirmed about a week after this that Josh Blickey would be joining DJM Racing part-time in 2024. He will run at Daytona and Talladega, and will run other select races throughout this respective season. Then it was confirmed right after that that Spencer Boyd had formed a new Craftsman Truck Series team called Freedom Racing Enterprises. He'll run the full season. They're getting old GMS racing equipment. And Jeff Hammond will be the managing partner of this organization as well this year. Then it was confirmed in the first or second week of January that Austin Green would be joining Peterson Racing Group in 2024 in the number 87 car. Austin Green, of course, the son of David Green, who, of course, is a former NASCAR Xfinity Series champion all the way back in 19, 1994. Then it was confirmed on my birthday that CJ McLaughlin will be joining RSS Racing part-time in 2024, driving a number 38 car for around 10 to 12 races. He could run more races depending on sponsorship and funding. Then we got confirmation on my birthday as well. Rick Corey Hyde will be joining Sam Hunt Racing part-time in 2024, driving the number 26 car for select races, including at Las Vegas Motor Speedway as well. Then it was confirmed on the Thursday after that that Connors Litch has signed a development deal with Trackhouse Racing. He'll make select like Xfinity starts and Truck Series starts once he turns 18, and will also make some starts in ARCA with the Pinnacle Racing Group, also, of course, going on to win the Rolex not that far after that. Then it was confirmed about a month ago that Seven Parsons would be joining Henderson Motorsports part-time in 2024, driving a number 75 truck. He will not run the full season, but will run a majority of the year this year with Henderson Racing Group. Then it was confirmed about three or four weeks, but actually the Chili Bowl, that Laws End will be driving for the Rayon Brothers in 2024 full-time, driving a 33 truck after being let go from Nice Motorsports after struggling with the team over the course of the last few truck series seasons. And then we got confirmation about two or three weeks ago that Jeffrey Earnhardt will be joining Samon Racing part-time in 2024. He'll race in Atlanta and he'll race at select other races throughout the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. And then we officially finally got confirmation that Nick Sanchez will be returning to Rev Racing in 2024, driving the two-truck once again. He will also have a new crew chief with Kevin Bonnie Manning working with him in 2024. And then we finally got confirmation about two weeks ago that Cavs Girl will be joining Ricker Racing in 2024 in the number 15 car. He will run 25 races with the team and could run more races depending on sponsorship and funding with this organization. And then it was confirmed about two weeks ago that Dale Dye will be joining College Racing part-time in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. We'll drive the number 10 car in 10 races, including at Daytona, this upcoming week with the team. 
Then it was confirmed, not much after that, that Marco Andretti will be joining Cook Racing Technologies in 2024 and will also make seven truck starts with Roper Racing. He will not run a Daytona, but will make other starts throughout the season as he looks to get more starts in stock cars. Then we had confirmation on Friday about two weeks ago for the Rolex that Brent Holmes will be running in the truck series full-time in 2024. He'll drive a 32 truck full-time, and we'll have some really good partners working with him this upcoming season. We'll also have Mike Shiplett as a crew chief, I believe, this year. Then it was confirmed that Clay Greenfield would be returning in 2024 with GK Racing. They got four races set right now for the 2024 season, but they could run more races as the season and the year progress. Then about a week or two ago, Kaz Grawl would confirm that he'd be joining the 36 team for Farmer Motorsports in the Daytona 500. He'll make other starts potentially throughout this year, but he will be running the 36 car at the Daytona 500. Then we got confirmation about a week or two ago that Sage Karen would be joining Samon Racing part-time in 2024. He'll run the race at Daytona this week and will run a lot of road course races and other races throughout the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. Then about a week or two ago, we had an interview with Steven Durano and Toyota confirming that 2311 Racing might run a third car in 2024. Then they have Kamui Kobayashi, someone like a Carl Edwards come out of retirement, and maybe some drivers like Corey Heim could get behind the wheel of the seats in 2024 as 2311 Racing looks to expand. Then about two weeks ago, the money team would confirm that they would not be entering the Daytona 500. They are still planning to run a select number of races in the Cup Series this season, but they will not be running in the Daytona 500 this year in 2024. That was announced about two weeks ago that Corey Heim had signed as a reserve driver for Legacy Motor Club in 2311 Racing. This could lead Corey Heim to potentially making some NASCAR Cup Series starts, depending if any driver is needed and could be going Cup Racing in the not-so-distant future. The next day after that, Corey Roper would be announced he'd be driving a 04 truck for Roper Racing at Daytona this week and also potentially at Talladega as well. He is also expected to have other drivers behind the wheel of that team throughout the season. Then right after that on the Friday, it would be announced that Tony Brininger would drive the one for Tricon Garage at Daytona International Speedway. She's obviously going to run full-time in Arca with Venturini, but she'll make some select starts with Tricon Garage this season as there's a lot of races available for her. And then it was confirmed on the Friday, right before the Bushlight Clash last week, that Riley Hurts will be driving the 15 car for Rick Ware Racing in the Daytona 500. He will also make some other select starts with the team, probably some other super speedway races that have not been announced. Then, early in this week, it would be announced that Patrick Emily would drive a 07 for SS Greenlight Racing for a majority of the season. Whenever he's not running in the Wheel and Modified Tour races, he'll get behind the wheel of the 07 for SS Greenlight Racing. Then on Wednesday last week, it was confirmed that Roger Karouf will be joining Spire Motorsports full-time in 2024, driving a number 71 truck. He will have sponsorship for HenderCars.com for 10 races, and Chad Walter will be coming over with him from GMS Racing to work with him at Spire Motorsports in the 2024 season. On the next same day, it was confirmed that Atori Racing would not run full-time in 2024. They'll be running ARCA full-time this year, and they'll announce their schedule as time progresses, but the 16 truck will not be full-time in 2024. Then yesterday, it was confirmed that Nice Motorsports' number 45 truck will be an all-star truck. Ross Chastain, Caden Honeycutt, Johnny Sauter, and Connor Mosak will split the seat. Ken Honeycutt will get the lion's share with the round 12 races. John Sutter will have two or three truck races this season. Chastain will have four. And Connor Mosek will have three truck series races in 2024 with the Nice Motorsports organization. Then yesterday, it was also confirmed that Zane Smith will drive a 91 truck for McAnally Hogman Racing for four truck series races. He's going to run Bristol and Texas will be among those races that he does enter. And I think potentially Coda as well is another race on the schedule with McAnally Hogman. And then the final major news we got yesterday is Frankie Muniz will drive a 35 car for Joey Gase Motorsports in the NASCAR Xfinity Series on a part-time basis. He should be good to go to make the race at Daytona, but Frankie Muniz will make some select Xfinity Series starts in 2024, along with some other starts throughout the year. But Frankie finally does have a ride for the 2024 season. So those are all the confirmed rides. Let's talk about the things that are unconfirmed. 
First, Matt Benedetto. There's been a lot of chatter rumors about Matt Benedetto, what he was going to be doing this season. He said his sponsor deal fell through. He doesn't have anything at this point signed. There's rumors he could still go to college racing for this season, but there's nothing officially confirmed at this point. I would think, though, that he might be in Xfinity or Cup with college racing this season. Brett Moffitt's also undetermined at this point. I don't know if Brett Moffitt has anything signed, maybe part-time at AM Racing, because we know AM Racing is not going to have the 25 car full-time this season. I would think there's a chance he goes there. And then Luke Fenhouse. Luke Fenhouse, absolutely. There's a chance he could ride this year. We don't know what his plans are for the year in racing in general, but Luke Fenhouse could make some starts in NASCAR's divisions. J.J. Lee's also got some plans that are apparently going to be set right down the road soon. He's been working on some deals. It's unclear, though, where he's headed for 2024. So that's every major NASCAR silly season move headed into the 2024 season. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so you know if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support on Patreon as well. Let's go to below that and comment your thoughts below on today's video. How excited are you for the 2024 season? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, I'm going to have an Asker news video discussing news over the course of the last couple of days. I might also have the truck series uh, race picks for the, the truck series race in Daytona. Wednesday, I'm going to have the Xfinity series race picks for Daytona. Daytona 500 race picks potentially. And also I'll have Daytona reactions to qualifying as well. Got a lot of great content dropping on the channel that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.